Sports Time Ohio. Hi again, everyone. Matt Underwood alongside Rick Manning. Welcome into our broadcast booth here at the ballpark. Rick, Fran Mel Reyes tore up Kansas City last week in Kansas City. He's 0 for 9 since, so hopefully he'll get back on track with that Royals pitching staff. He had a series to remember in Kansas City. Last Tuesday, he had a five-hit ball game. He was 10 for 13 in the series, and he hit the ball all over the ballpark. Home runs, doubles, singles, driving in the runs. I mean, that's, that's a night he'll never forget, and a series he'll never forget. But when you look at it, the Kansas City pitchers just could, had a tough time getting him out. He was locked in. When you look at all the pitches, you're going to see him on StatCast. 3D brought to you by Google Cloud. They smothered the strike zone and he hit them everywhere all over that ballpark as though it was a series. I'd like to see him get back and roll again. Rick, they say familiarity breeds contempt. If that is indeed true, then the Royals have developed a dislike for Zach Plesak. Tonight will be the sixth time in his 26 career starts that he's faced the Royals, and he's never lost to them. Yeah, he's 4-0 and in his career, and in his one start, his last outing, he went six innings through 90 pitches, had six strikeouts, didn't walk anybody, was in command the whole game. He just allowed the four hits and the one run, so he's making his second start at home today. His first start was the one against Chicago White. White Sox this year it was his best game of the year and he's pitching against Kansas City so we're hoping for good things tonight. It's the second time this year the Royals have lost six in a row and they've been outscored on this current six game skid by five runs a game. We'll be back with tonight's play by play. Alan Jensen stopped by and we'll hear from Andre Knott straight ahead. Cleveland Indians baseball is brought to you by Spectrum Mobile. Think in the American League right now. It should be a very good matchup tonight. And Plesak is going to be our Nissan starting pitcher. And he's coming off that start against Kansas City. We told you uh, earlier, six innings, four hits, just the one run allowed, no walks, six strikeouts. And uh, he's been tough on Kansas City his whole career. Uh, he's 4-0 in his career. This is only his second start in this ballpark. His first one came the 29th of uh, July against the White Sox. Probably his best game he's ever pitched. He went eight innings, three hits allowed, struck out 11. Mike Matheny starting lineup for Kansas City has Whit Merrifield at the top. Hunter Dozier in the two hole. Michael Franco batting third. Ryan O'Hearn in the DH. Alex Gordon in left field bats fifth. Bubba Starling gets the start at center. He'll hit sixth. Edward Olivares will bat seventh. He's in right field. Adalberto Mondesi, the shortstop, hitting eighth. And Cam Gallagher, the catcher, will bat ninth. And the defense uh, for the Indians brought to you by your local Spitzer location. Naylor in left field, Mercado in center, and Naquin over in right. It'll be Ramirez at third, Lindor at short, Hernandez is at second, Santana at first with Perez behind the plate. A different crew. Wow. How about that? Chad Whitson, Mark Carlson, James Hoy, and Mike Esterbrook. James Hoy grew up down the road here in Northeast Ohio. Indians last week, he pitched a dandy. He had a no decision, but he went six in the third inning. He's given up three hits and, and just the one run. He had one walk and four strikeouts. A heavy ball. He throws a sinker. He's only given up one extra base hit. Only 17 hits in his 28 innings. Drive starting nine brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Hernandez, Ramirez, Lindor, Santana, Reyes, Naquin, Josh Naylor in the lineup today. Roberto Perez and Oscar Mercado batting ninth. Sandy Alomar still 